mate. Congrats on 200. Um, love playing with you over the years and uh, the best thing about you, mate, is um, what you do for your family, but also your mates around the footy club. One of the best clubmen many times, so um, you're a good person when you're going footy player. So all the best. Let's get the win for you. Congratulations on your 200. Great effort, great story. Um, I know a lot of your teammates draw inspiration from you and the way you go about it. Uh, we love playing with you, love coaching you, and uh, love, love you as a friend. Cheers, mate. It's been an absolute privilege, mate, to play with you uh, over your 200 games, mate. You've been uh, a really solid contributor for the Carl Football Club for a long period of time, mate. And you know, I love playing with you and so are the boys. So, enough for the guys to get up for you and well done, mate. And uh, it's a proud day for you and your family, John. He's a much-loved man of the Carlton Football Club from the rookie list to become a 200-game player, and that is Ed Kernow. And he's good enough to join us this afternoon ahead of the big occasion at Marvel Stadium. Ed, thanks for your time and congratulations. Thanks, Ed Hutto. Cheers. Yeah, I'm um, pumped to be here. A bit nervous, but and cold. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is a bit cold, isn't it? Uh, I mean, it's obviously a strange way to celebrate with no crowd, etc. Um, not probably what you would have imagined, but you probably also wouldn't have, have imagined getting here at the at the early part of your career, having to come off the rookie list and just to play AFL footy. Yeah, no, you're right. I haven't really imagined uh, reaching 200 games at all. I, I really just uh, it was pretty boring. I just wanted to play one game and, and prove to myself I could do that. And um, yeah, it's been a great, great trip. And uh, it's, it's kind of a, it's a slight relief to not have to organise a thousand tickets for family uh, and friends. <laughs> um, cause it's a big job. As much as I'd love to have them all here. Absolutely. Congratulations, Ed. Yeah, I think you'd be getting half a Torquay uh, tickets up to come up the highway to see this tour. 200 is an enormous effort. I mean, I know you said you, you, you've been very gracious accepting it, and uh, I think you came through Box Hill, didn't you, for a little while there? Yeah, yeah, I had a year with Craigie at Adelaide and then two at Box Hill, and, um, yeah, my, my first game was in 2011 um, with a massive crowd against Richmond, which was unreal, and we had a, uh, a great bunch of teammates and you know clearly we've cycled few through a few over the years at Carlton but it's it's been a lot of fun. So 200 is an extraordinary number do you, do, has that sunk in yet do you accept the the standard that you have reached now? Yeah, oh, that's not full-time either, mate. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a good sign. What's going on? They've called us. Uh, it's a good result. See you, boys. Thanks. Uh, no, yeah, it's weird. I mean, it judges a 200-game player now, which is something that, you know, I tried to hide behind the whole, you know, I'll see if I can get another year, that type of uh, biz, um, which is, is suited the way I go about it. it. Really, for me, it's just if I can nail my role, be a better player and hang around because I, I love this job. It's a great career. Um, um, footy industry is unreal and it's going through a tough time at the moment but uh, the people you get to work with um, and what we get to do for a living it, it just uh, means that I'm happy to do whatever it is to, to hold my spot. That, you can't undersell what you've done though Ed I mean three times you've been top three in the Carlton best and fairest that's not just that's just not just solid that's not just hanging in there for another year is it that's really <laughs> outstanding. Uh, thanks Hato. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I put a lot of effort into my training and, and what I do in the off-season and, and then um, making sure I get a break away from footy and I think all those little things and having great support networks, family and friends and it all adds up and it all helps and then, and then you know, working with the coaches and having strong relationships, all those little things I feel like have uh, yeah, got, got me to where I am now. Your preparation to play is outstanding. Your preparation for interviews, I think, can be a lot can be said about you. Are freezing there? You've got shorts and a short, a short top on. Oh yeah, and and just I don't know. It's just been a strange week when people are so nice and uh, it's unreal. So I just kind of want to touch a footy and have a run. <laughs> You've got Eddie Betts' shorts on as well, I see. <laughs> yeah, well, it's cold. I'm wearing them down near the knees for a reason. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's good we're undercovers. That's nice. Are you a bit of a cruiser? And uh, Charlie, your, your, your brother, we we know he's a... Well, he, he, you know I like him. He knows I like He's a weird cat. Uh, who's the cruiser? What was it like growing up? You, you two would have been horizontal, wouldn't you? 
<laughs> I think I'm, I'm probably a bit more, I get a bit more tense than Charlie. Charlie's, uh, he's been unreal for me, really. We're about eight years apart, but he, he's got some confidence and belief in his game that I've tried to draw upon since he came to the club, and it's helped me a lot uh, in my own football. And Because uh, you need that game day, you need that uh, the belief. Um, it gives you a bit of an edge. So, yeah, Charlie's a bit more cruisy. I'm a bit more, a bit more intense, and, and maybe I give off uh, a cruisier for some. Uh, which isn't really true. When you hit these milestones, I like to go back and have a look at their personal bests yeah. to see what what they've you know what what the heights. Obviously, two hundred games a big a big number. So Thirty eight disposals is a PB, and a four goal game that surprised me. Ed. The four Ooh. goal game. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Yeah, I don't know. That was uh, T. U. was my uh, forwards coach then, so it was uh, it was a funny game. One of them was touched, and I claimed it, so I always feel bad about that. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do you ever Hit up the coach and say, I should be doing this. You've got me in this pigeonholed area. What have you always asked him for that you've not received? Yeah. Today's the day. Yeah, you 200 games. <laughs> yeah. We're celebrating, mate. You you can tell us a close yeah. Yeah. held secret. Well, <laughs> I haven't really gone there, but you know, with Big H out, maybe you could sit me deep and I could just take <laughs> hangers like he does. But I'm a terrible mark um, and I'm not really a known goal kicker, but I'm, I'm playing forward. So here we go. Maybe I can kick a goal today. Yeah, you've got four. Four's a good <laughs> four, bag. Yeah. Hey, what, what do you think is the future of? Uh, you've been far more than a, than a, a tag or a run with player. But what do you think is the future of that of that run with position? As it um, it sort of comes in and out, mainly out of, of trend. But what do you reckon? I think there's always a role for a defensive on baller or you know. I, I think uh, the best way to play it at the moment is if. This is the way I feel anyway. If you've got an opposition who's going really well, you send a player to him. But if he tries to drag you around and, and move you at stoppages, it, it can really uh, upset the balance uh, of your team. So what you've got to be is good enough to kind of drop off him when, it, when it's required and just go play a different role. So I still think it's there, but you've just got to recognise when it's hurting your own team if you're you know, trailing a guy through a zone or if he's running you to 2v1s in a stoppage. And that's the challenge of tagging. You can still do it, um, but that, that's the art to it. And it's a hard one because I've got that wrong many times. Ed, um, we just spoke with Ollie Wines. Now, you're, you're 180 centimetres, so 5'11 and 85 kilo. He's about 195 and 100 kilo. <laughs> the size of the, the the new batch of midfielders is, is just ridiculous. We're looking at Paddy Cripps on on screen now. He's he's one of those big beasts. How difficult is it at your size to stand next to those blokes and compete? Oh, yeah, look, it's tricky, that's for sure. But I've never been one to, to look at size because otherwise you're really not going to get to where, where you are now. And I look at guys like Tom Libertore, he's the same size as me, and he takes up to those guys and beats them. Um, Zach Merritt, he's, he's pretty small. Mark Murphy is a superstar of the comp. Sam Walsh is not that big. I think uh, if you're competitive, you'll find a way. So are you saying there's hope for Hutto yet? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Hey, yeah. I've, I've got... Hey, that was Zed Kerno. <laughs> yeah, I've got one question. One thing I really want to know, being a talkie boy, when you're out there and somebody else is up and riding, do you hoot from the channel? Hoot from the channel? <laughs> no, I enjoy, I enjoy a bit of a solo mish, so um, I'm usually... Uh, I, I do get excited, but uh, probably not if you're on our waves, Dan. No, no, I'll hack it up, mate. <laughs> have you seen Gerald out there? Have you seen our own Gerald Healy? No, I think he goes to Winky a fair bit. I stick away from, from Winky as a fair, Crowds. fair few people out there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Ed, we will let you go so you can warm up in a minute. But just one on David Teague. Obviously, the outside, some of the outside perception of him is that or one of the, I suppose, external criticisms is maybe he's not hard enough on you as a, as a group. From the inside, can, can you tell us how hard is he on you? Yeah, it's I find that amazing how you present to, to the members and the public and through the media channels. They, oh, I just don't see him like that. Here. I find him really, really hard on the group. So you've got a strong, you know, I think it's uh, out there that he's strong on relationships, but he's very high on standards and 
he's good on a spray and only the other week at training he made us take off our jumpers because we weren't living to the standards and that was pretty funny but um, no he's, <laughs> he's good value so he's uh, he's a hard man and yeah I look forward to watching him and his development as a coach for the next few years well he's hard he's, he's made Mark Murphy earn it where, where do you sit on that is, is, he, is, he, is, he, is he the sub today Mark you know yeah, he's our sub today um, and hopefully gets up for his 300 in a few weeks' time. So he has, and, and, and Murph's uh, had a few injuries and, you know, he, he's adjusting to a new role. Like, Murph's been an unbelievable contributor to the footy club. He's been our captain and he's been a great player for us for many years. He's still got this, the execution and those attributes that make him valuable to the team. So I'm hoping we can celebrate his 300th in a few weeks. Well, uh, well, once again, Ed, yeah, thank you for be. sharing your time. We'll let you go and put a blanket on or something. Part of the chair off. And, uh, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, good luck, good luck, mate. Go Thanks for em. joining us. Cheers, guys. Looks warm in the studio. <laughs> 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 this is strange. One of the strangest He's interviews. A He's a river. He's just <laughs> authentic, isn't he? He's a cruiser. Yeah, 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 just... not, as, not as cruisy as his brother, though. No, uh, who's no. not far away from playing, which yeah. is exciting, isn't it? Interesting. Yeah. Um, see how he goes. Pulls up. But, uh, yeah, it's interesting there that Mark Murphy is confirmed as the sub. So they're, they're obviously... That's good. That's good. The other... He's been made to earn it. I mean, the way he went away interstate to play footy at a senior level. Then, then he's played two years at Box Hill. So he's played three years of senior football before he got rookie. Didn't even get drafted straight up. So rookie. So he's been made to earn it and go around the hard way. So uh, good luck to him. I like a guy that gives us the lineup five minutes out before the teams are officially <laughs> announced. <laughs> well, I don't well, think it's, it's, it, there's there is there. Yeah. it's probably not the super shock in the world, but no. we were, there was still that one game spare, so he could have not been the sub today and still got to 300. I think I asked that question about the David Teague um, perception from the outside because I'm told that he is not that, you know, do you work for him, Anthony? Do I, do not, I do not. Has, has he, has he come into the Hudson School yeah. of Diplomacy no. for interview okay. technique? So we can have a sensible conversation so, about him. Sorry we can't um, to bring up a thought. I think outside yeah, looking yeah. in, it's impossible to see what, yeah, for mm. us to you know what know. they're like. You we we don't, don't know. know. But yeah. in the end, he's just got to win games. That's all it that comes down to. Not how he speaks, not how he acts. Does he win games? Yeah. And take your jumpers off because you're not living up yes, to standards. Like That's it. pretty interesting. I'm There's a very famous one Wallsy did with Carlton. 